Uh, in Scotland, we've been uh, using structural funds for uh, financial instruments for uh, the last 15, 20 years. Um, the main way that we do that is through uh, what we call co-investment. Uh, co-investment is uh, a system that allows the private sector uh, fund managers to make the investment decision on behalf of the uh, public sector. So what happens is that we, um, private sector fund managers apply to become co-investment fund partners. We carry out due diligence on those private sector fund managers. Uh, we will contract with some of those, uh, the successful private sector fund managers, and then we enter into a, a legally binding contract. And that contract allows the private sector fund manager to make uh, investment decisions uh, on our behalf. And what that means is, with a very small number of public sector staff, we can do a very large uh, number of deals. Uh, the private sector uh, like this model very, very much uh, because the model is very, very simple and they get the right to make the investment decision. We uh, invest about £35 million pounds per annum. That's about 180 million zlotys, uh, mainly through uh, co-investment. Um, we have, I think, something like uh, 12 active private sector uh, fund managers, uh, though they are business angel syndicates. Um, well, our, our main instrument is, is co-investment, but um, for uh, the next three to four years, um, we will be investing uh, in early stage uh, via equity. We will also be uh, providing uh, microfinance uh, lending and we will also be providing uh, traditional lending to, to SMEs. So for that we're looking for probably about six uh, private sector fund managers. So specialists in microfinance, specialists in uh, debt uh, and specialists in early stage, uh, early stage equity. Uh, that will be a public procurement process, so we will advertise across the whole of the Europe, the whole of Europe, uh, for um, uh, fund managers that are interested in um, in, in managing our uh, our um, microfinance equity and and debt funds. Um, we think. At the end of it, it will be a mixture of public and private sector fund managers. But we would expect uh, at least some of those to be um, uh, international fund managers, not based in Scotland. <laughs>